students welcome to the channel physics by dr pragna and today we are going to see what are the oil diffusion pumps so in my previous video we have seen what are the rotary vane pumps so the, with the help of a rotary vane pumps you can go uh, to the um, vacuum up to 10 to minus 4 or 10 to minus 5 torque now if you want to have the vacuum uh, more than this now uh, we want to reduce more number of air molecules if you want to attain the vacuum of 10 to minus 9 tor or somewhere in this range then you have to use this uh, oil diffusion pump we know that this is a uh, positive displacement pump air molecules are being swiped out and it is a kinetic means the uh, kinetic energy is supplied to the air molecules and the air molecules are uh, driven away so first thing i want to write here is the uh, oil diffusion is a positive displacement And can be used to generate a very high vacuum, nearly 10 to minus 9 torque. And it is of the kinetic type. So these words should be highlighted if we uh, are writing the question of this uh, oil diffusion form. And as I have said previously, so I am not uh, uh, forwarding the video while I am drawing the diagram. In experimental techniques, the attractive diagram and the suitable labels, there is a, they are going to give you a full marks. Okay. So let me draw first the construction of the oil diffusion pump. So this oil diffusion pump, uh, two diagrams we need over here. So this is how this uh, basic building block of this oil diffusion pump looks like. So this is the sample chamber where I want to generate the vacuum. So this is a roughing ball. And here we are going to have so the backing pump is over. So this is a roughing wall. And this is a backing wall. This is a rotary vane pump. Now this is a oil diffusion pump. This is a sample chamber. Okay, now see here. So, first we need to know that this oil diffusion pump is going to give us the uh, vacuum up to nearly 10 to minus 9 torr. So, to attain this uh, vacuum, we need or this oil diffusion pump works in a pre molecular region. So, let me write this word pre. region now what is this three molecular region suppose if you have a chamber in which large number of air molecules are there and suppose lambda is the path length between the two collisions we know that due to the thermal excitations at a room temperature these air molecules will have uh, some sort of uh, energy kinetic energy and they are not uh, standing stable at one place they are dancing here and there all over the chamber so uh, let me draw that diagram. Suppose uh, this is the chamber and large number of air molecules are there and lambda is the path between the two collisions. And D suppose D is the uh, diameter of that uh, chamber. Now in this case when this lambda is uh, very very small as compared to this D. So it is a continuum flow. Now, as this air molecules goes on reducing, so what happens? I'll draw this diagram over here somewhere. So at this situation, is this lambda is uh, say this lambda is less than or equal to D, 
So this is called as a free molecular region or a free molecular flow. Okay, so oil diffusion pump works in a free molecular region. You have to highlight this word free molecular region. So it is a region or it is a chamber in which the air no air molecules are already less and this lambda is nearly equal to or the smaller than this diameter. Okay, it means that the um, air molecules are less in this chamber. Okay, so the chamber which is previously at say 10 to minus 3 or 10 to minus 4 torr for these systems only we can use this oil diffusion pump. Okay, so see here we have drawn the block diagram of the vacuum technology in which this oil diffusion pump is being used. Now I have shown this oil diffusion pump. Oil diffusion pump is it is connected to the rotary vane pump by two different walls. Okay, so first one is called as a roughing wall and this is called as a, another is called as a backing wall. Now this is the sample chamber where we want to generate the vacuum. Okay, so what we first do is we are also using the rotary vane pump. So the purpose of the rotary vane pump is uh, it can be used as a roughing wall. Roughing wall means uh, when this wall is open here. Yeah. So when this wall is open, this rotary vane pump, pump that will reduce the air molecules over here. So this region will become the free molecular region where this lambda is less than or equal to D. So purpose of this rotary vane pump, it is to remove the air molecules uh, for as a primitive stage of the oil diffusion pump. So it is called as a roughing mode. Now once the uh, free molecular region is attained, then we close this roughing valve and then the backing valve uh, will be uh, operated or it will come into the uh, play. Okay, now let us see how this oil diffusion pump works. Now this is the sample chamber where we want to uh, attain this vacuum of 10 to minus tor. Okay, so this is a block diagram of the oil diffusion pump being used in some certain vacuum technology. Okay, so it is connected to the uh, sample chamber via this rotary vane pump by two different valves as a roughing valve and the backing valve. Okay, now let me show you the actual diagram of this oil diffusion pump. So see here, the construction is very simple for this oil diffusion pump. It will basically consist of some oil I will show you it like this ok so this is oil so it is, these are having these are the oil molecules and this is a heater ok so this part is a heater this is the oil bar We know that this is a kinetic type of a pump, therefore we have to supply some amount of energy. And this in this oil bar, we have kept one chimney. Okay, so the chimneys can be one stage, two stage, three stage also. So, and for this chimneys at the top, we are having some nozzle. So this is the chimney. This is a jet or nozzle. And so above this our so this roughing stage will come somewhere here. And above this, this is sample chamber is present. Now, this is the sample chamber. Okay. And now this is connected to the rotary vane pump. Now let me show this. Uh, let me show this rotary vane pump with a very small. So let 
Let me show it over here. This is a working pen pump. This is this is a roughing ball. This is backing ball. Okay. Now let us see how does this work. Now this is the sample chamber we work, where we want to attain the status to minus 9 torr of the vacuum. We know that this oil diffusion pump is a kinetic in which the air molecules are removed but with the help of a, uh, with the help of a supplying uh, kinetic energy to the air molecules. And this is a positive displacement means this air molecules are swiped out uh, uh, from the sample chamber. Okay. Now for the first thing, when this rotary pump, rotary pump pump is being used as a roughing pump, so it reduces the vacuum of the uh, air uh, sample, uh, of this sample chamber up to say 10 to minus 4 to 10 to minus 5 torr. Okay. Now once this it is at end, now here we have some cold baffles. So due to this cold baffles, the air cannot go back inside this or the oil molecules will not go above this. Okay, so the air will come only in this direction. Okay, so it is already a free molecular region where the number of air molecules is less as the roughing pump is used okay for this region now once the vacuum has been attached um, has been reached up to 10 to minus 4 to 10 to minus 5 torr now we on the heater okay so heater so there is the oil bath and oil molecules we have or they will get energy they will be vaporized and they will start rising into this chimney so these are the air molecules now we know that we are giving the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy of the high kinetic due to the high kinetic energy uh, and above at the top of the uh, chimney we are having a jet or a nozzle which is an annular nozzle. Okay, so the oil molecules which are having a very high kinetic energy uh, they will be pushed away uh, from this nozzle with a very high kinetic energy like this. Okay, and we are having some air molecules over here. But obviously the air molecules are very less. Okay. Now what this air molecules will do? They will collide with this air molecules. They will impart energy to the air molecules. And at this stage, we are um, swiping out the rotary fan pump through this backing wall. Okay. Now the backing wall is open. And we know that in a rotary fan pump with the help of this veins okay so the air molecules are passed out okay so again reducing the vacuum up to 10 to the minus 9 torr now see here i have forgot to draw this cooling coils everywhere cooling coils are there so this cooling coils will keep this air oil molecules to go back inside the oil bath see here okay once this oil molecule imparts its energy to the air molecule it will go to the wall or it will cool down and it will again come to the oil bath okay so the journey of the air molecules will be from the oil bath to the chimney to the nozzle and again to the oil bath okay so the purpose of this cold baffles is uh, as the even if the air molecules or the oil molecules are going from this side, okay, due to this cold vapors, they will get cooled and they again they will uh, come to the oil bath. Okay, so air molecules can pass only from one side, but they cannot pass 
back from this side okay so this is how the oil diffusion pump works so oil diffusion pump so let me summarize this lecture so this oil diffusion pump can be used to attain the vacuum of nearly 10 to minus 9 torr for this oil diffusion pump uh, it works in a free molecular region where this lambda is less than or equal to d which is nearly the pressure of the vacuum of 10 to minus 4 to 10 to minus 5 torr so in a sample chamber uh, we uh, roughing uh, we rough or we generate the vacuum of 10 to minus 4 to 10 to minus 5 torr by using this rotary vane pump and this oil diffusion path so this uh, oil molecules will be get heated they will have the kinetic energy while coming out of this nozzle they will impart the kinetic energy to the air molecules and at that stage the air molecules will be driven out by using this uh, by opening the backing pump okay so this is how this oil diffusion can pump can be used to attain the vacuum of 10 to minus 9 torr and we have in a previous lecture we have seen that this uh, mm, uh, this uh, rotary vein pump that can be used uh, uh, to attain the vacuum of nearly 10 to minus 4 to 10 to minus 5 torr. You can also draw the pumping speed or suppose somewhere it is a 10 to minus 9 torr. So you can it should be a straight line like this. And this is a pumping speed S and this is a pressure. Okay, so with the help of oil diffusion pump, you can attain the pressure uh, or the vacuum of nearly 10 to minus 9 torr. This is all about the oil diffusion pump. Stay focused, keep studying and be away from the engines. Thank you for watching.